what are you thinking about? Sorry, I just saw that you were looking out at sea for so long. Even for a pirate. I mean, yeah, there's not a lot else to look at when you're out at sea, but still. Normally someone else would have gotten bored and gone back to their quarters to play cards or something. So, I thought you must have been deep in thought or something. To stare for that long. Or maybe not. Maybe you were just thinking about nothing in particular. You're awfully calm for someone who has just been oppressed by a mermaid. Indifferent, even. Usually when sailors see me, they go all, Oh my god, a mermaid, so pretty. Or, a mermaid, it's a monster, kill it. But you. Well, that's like I'm barely registering to you. But I think I get it. Because you're you. <laughs> There's no need to introduce yourself. Oh yes, tales of your exploits even reach far beneath the waves. You're the legendary pirate captain who's braved the harshest whirlpools and storms, who has looted even far inland and has plundered treasures beyond the imagination of the wealthiest kings. From a carpet made of rubies to a golden harp with silk for strings. And since you've even slain such great mythical creatures like krakens or hydras, well... I guess the mermaid is nothing of note to you. To be honest, I'm really quite a fan. Although I'm the mermaid here, I'm the one who's having a supernatural experience. It's not every day I can see someone as legendary as you, after all. So, what were you thinking about? Still indifferent? Well, I think I can take a guess. If the tales are true, then there's only one thing you think about, right? Treasure. Are you thinking about what to loot next? Or where to put some treasure you just looted? Something of that nature? <laughs> Your face says it all. Your greed is even more legendary than you are. But that's okay. That's what I like about you. You're so... ambitious. It is a shame, though, about all that wealth. You spent so many years accumulating it, but you won't be able to spend as much time with it as you'd like. At the end of the day, you're still human, despite your feats. And humans don't live forever. You've done your fair share of plundering, so you must have noticed, right? All those great kings, even great pirates who had hordes and hordes of wealth and greedily had themselves buried with it, they're a lot like you. Many of them also plundered far and wide. Many even slew a few krakens of their own. And when you looted the graves of those great kings and pirates, there were nothing more than a piggy bank for you to smash and steal from. Is that how you want to end up? No human or monster can beat you, but time can. You'll eventually get old and end up just like those corpses that you looted. Just another victim for a grave robber. But, what if I told you there was another way? What if I told you there was a way you could live forever? So that you could enjoy your wealth on and on, no matter how much time passes. Because there is. <laughs> Your face looks a lot cuter when your eyes are sparkling like that. Well then, hear me out, because under the waves, far beneath in the depths below, there's a palace carved out of giant pearl. Inside, the guests enjoy wild and lavish parties and are surrounded by innumerable treasures. But what's most important of all is that anyone who lives in the palace doesn't age for as long as they remain inside. Well, doesn't that sound like just the solution to your problem? You could live forever there, and there'd be more treasure for you there as well. Skeptical, are you? Well, yeah, I can see why. It does sound like a fairy tale. But come on, you've come face to face with so many fantastical things. Every day of your life is straight out of a fairy tale. So is a pearl palace beneath the waves really that hard to believe? I 
I mean, <laughs> how do you think I've lived for so long? Surely you must know about me. Sailors have been telling tales of my beauty for at least a century now. They really are talking about me. I match up straight with the tales. Just look at my features. And hair color and eye color and everything. <laughs> You're still skeptical, are you? Well, I know what'll change your mind. That's why I brought a little something with me. Look, it's a statue, carved completely out of pearl. Something like this is worth more than its weight in gold. Why, I can see you're already drooling. This is just a petty lawn ornament in the palace, you know. This is the palace's equivalent of a garden gnome. That is how luxurious it is. To say nothing of the immortality. So won't you come with me, just beneath the waves? We've got so much treasure down there. There are single-use napkins made of silk. There are birds that sing on demand. You can even tell them what to sing and they understand and obey. There are fruits so rare and exotic that they don't even exist on land. And we eat those often enough to become sick of them. There's even a dancing statue made of silver. There are so many fantastical things down there. And you know what? They can all be yours if you just come with me, and you can enjoy them forever. <sighs> I knew you'd accept. You're too greedy to say no, despite how suspicious it is. Take my hand and close your eyes. You'll fall asleep, and when you wake up, you'll be in your new home. Well, wake up. Open your eyes. I was right, wasn't I? Look around you. There are birds that sing on demand. There's a dancing statue. The silk napkins. Everything. Just like I said. Especially the immortality. Though, I suppose there aren't any guests. I must confess, that part was a lie. I was worried you wouldn't come if it was just the two of us here, but it's fine. So what if it's just the two of us here? We can live a happy, eternal life together. Just the two of us. Don't get mad at me. So what if there aren't any other guests at my palace? You're greedy too, aren't you? You jealously hoard all your treasure, not sharing them with anyone. I'm the same, but in my case, you are my treasure. And I'm not going to share you with anyone. You're all mine. Mine alone. Forever and ever. For all eternity. I've always loved you. Ever since I heard the first story about you. Even back before you were a legend. Even back before you were even a folk hero. Back before sailors used to tell stories of how you slew this or that. Back before they told tales of how many gems you recently looted. It was back when they would just say you were a competent pirate. Or that you did well for your first time as a pirate captain. Even back then, I knew you were great. And now look at you. I was right. I was completely, without a doubt, right. You've become a peerless legend. And now? Well, now you're the crown jewel of my collection. All these birds or napkins or fruits, they can't compare to you. Even the treasure of immortality doesn't compare to the treasure of having you. And now, I have you. Forever. Forever.